Welcome to the dance department at Beacon Academy. My name is Miss Curtis and I'll be talking you through the A-level dance course. This is Miss Thomas, the head of performing arts, and this is Miss Owen, who is also a dance teacher here at Beacon. Feel free to pause the video at any stage during this PowerPoint if you want to read any of the information further. A-level dance at Beacon Academy is an exciting and diverse course which is made accessible for all. The course itself is a development of what we strive to achieve in Key Stage 3 and 4, with a particular focus on dynamic qualification which encourages students to develop their creative and intellectual capacity, alongside transferable skills such as working as a team, communication and problem solving. All of these are sought after skills by higher education and employers and will help them stand out in the workplace whatever their choice of career. This specification reflects both historical and current dance practices, making it more relevant and inspires a lifelong passion and appreciation for dance. We understand the important role of dance in young people's lives and how each dancer has different strengths. This course offers students the opportunity to study a multitude of dance styles which they can choose to perform and choreograph in a style of their choice for the group work, providing it meets the assessment criteria. Course overview then. So component one is performance and choreography, which is 50%. This is the practical weighting of the course. We then have component two, which is the critical engagement, which is also 50%. This is the written paper, and we'll talk a little bit more in detail about that as we go through. So the overall outcomes of the course are to improve students' technical and performance skills, the process and art of choreography, the interrelationship between the creation, presentation and viewing appreciation of dance works, the development of dance place within an artistic and cultural context, professional dance works and the significance of these works, subject specific terminology and its use. Component one, performance and choreography. This is a practical which is 50% of the A-level. There is a solo performance linked to a specific practitioner within an area of studies, which is about two to three minutes duration. There is also a performance within a quartet, which is three to four minutes duration. And then a group choreography, which is also three to four minutes duration. Here are some examples of our key practitioners, which the students have the choice to study. Christopher Bruce, who is an artistic director of the Rambert Dance Company. Martha Graham, founder of the Graham Technique. Sidi Larby is a Belgian-Moroccan dancer and choreographer. Stanley Donnan, who was an American film director and most famously choreographed Singing in the Rain. Jean Corrali was a French ballet dancer and choreographer. Yasmin Vardaman, a contemporary choreographer and Hoffa Schechter, also a contemporary choreographer. So, just to give you a bit more detail about component one, in the performance unit you will develop and apply the knowledge, understanding and skills required to perform in dance, gain the knowledge and understanding of physical skills including flexibility, strength, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, agility, neuromuscular coordination and kinesthetic awareness. These all underpin and inform the development of both the physical, technical, interpretive performance skills that are assessed in A-level dance. Safe practice is where you will develop a deep understanding of safe practice within dance. This includes awareness of correct alignment, technical accuracy, appropriate dance wear and presentation of self, and a healthy approach to training including the lifestyle of a dancer. So within the solo performance, to pass this unit, we will be required to perform as a soloist in the style of one of the specified practitioners. This performance will be a minimum of two minutes and a maximum of three. It also must be performed to a live audience, which is an exciting opportunity for some of the students. The quartet performance is a dance that can be performed in any dance style relevant to the defined genres. 
It must also be performed in front of a live audience and will be a minimum of three minutes. The dance style, styles of which the students can choose from, are as follows. Modern dance, ballet dance and jazz dance. The assessment for component one, the solo and the quartet is assessed together and for each performance you will write a programme note of no more than 150 words. The programme note should clearly reference the styles and dance ideas. This table shows an overview of the skills you will be assessed on for both the solo and the quartet performances. The next part of component one is choreography. In the choreography unit, you will learn how to create an original piece of group choreography, which lasts for a minimum of three minutes and a maximum of four. To achieve this, you will work in groups of three, four or five dancers. The choreography must be based on a brief that will be set by the examiner. You will have different briefs to choose from. In the past, they have been to choreograph a dance based on one of the following board games, Ludo, Monopoly and Snakes and Ladders. To choreograph a dance based on the concept of land art in relation to a specific artist. And to choreograph a dance based on the following extract from the law of the jungle. For the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. To translate your dance ideas into choreography, you will develop and apply practical knowledge and understanding of choreographic processes, including researching, developing and experimenting with dance ideas through studio and non-studio investigation and the rehearsal process. Within your choreography, you must show your knowledge and understanding of the key skills outlined in this table. This is what you will be assessed on. For component two, critical engagement, students need to have a knowledge and an understanding and critical appreciation of two set works. One compulsory set work within the area of study and one optional set work within the corresponding area of study from a choice of four. The written exam is two hours, 30 minutes, totaling with 100 marks, which is 50% of the A level. There are two sections. Section A is a short answer question worth 25 marks and one essay question, which is also worth 25 marks. These are both on the compulsory set work area of study. Section B is two essay questions on the second set work and the area of study, 25 marks for each essay. Component to detail, there is a focus on the constituent features, which is movement components, dancers, oral setting and physical setting. Component two, the compulsory set work is Rooster by Christopher Bruce, performed by the Ballet Rambert Company. The understanding of the two key practitioners in relation to Rooster, students must know the importance of the practitioner's work in the development of the genre in relation to Rambert Dance Company. The relationship between the development of the genre and its context, i.e. the position of the genre within history, culture and society. The genre's capacity to reflect and challenge society. And in section two of the written paper, in addition to the compulsory set work and area of study, students must select one further set work and the corresponding area of study from the following four options. For their selected set work, students must know and understand the character of the dance, the subject matter, e.g. the theme or the topic, and its effectiveness in communicating the subject matter. They must also know the constituent features of the dance, the choreographic approach, which is a particular technique, movement style of the choreographer, and the influences affecting the development of the choreographer the origins of the dance, the relationship between the dance and its context, the importance of the dance in the development of both the choreographer and the genre, and the similarities and differences between the dance and other works by the choreographer. I hope this has given you some useful information regarding the A-level course here at Beacon, and we can't wait to have you join our department. See you soon.